so we get to talk about capacitors today. And as promised last week, we're going to build a capacitor. Okay? So I thought I'd show you, first of all, a real capacitor. Uh, and I say real, the one you're going to make is also real. But this one is a manufactured capacitor, so see that capacitor there? They call that a tin can capacitor because it looks like an upside down tin can. And um, see, it's got two wires coming out of it. Why do you think it has two wires? Uh, for the negatives to connect. Yeah, one goes to one plate, one goes to the other plate. And these two plates are rolled up and wrapped around itself. And so that's why, that's why it has this kind of tin can look to it, because it's, it's literally been rolled up. Now, it has some words on it. these words right here. Five, I guess that's O, V, one, U, F, I, O, V. Okay. Five, O, V, one, U, F, So here's what this, and this, that's actually just a piece of tape. And this piece of tape is really long and they put it on all their capacitors that they make. And so it just repeats itself, 1 UF, 50 V, 1 UF, 50 V, and just goes on and on. And that way, whenever they put it on a capacitor, it's sure to have these two numbers on. Yes. Okay, so what this means is, this number is the maximum voltage it can hold. This number is the capacitance of that capacitor. And so the capacitance describes how much charge it can hold. Um, in fact, I think you have a new equation right now. Uh, we haven't talked about it yet. But voltage is equal to charge per capacitance. So if we rearrange this, we can say capacitance is equal to charge per voltage. So that means if you've got this voltage on it, there's only a, there's a set amount of charge here. And so, uh, I also happen to have here a very fancy capacitance meter. Um, these little guys are pretty expensive. So, let's test it. Now, this is labeled one microfarad. What does a micro mean? Let's see here. Um. Micro is a one one thousand. Yes. Okay. So this is one. This is one one thousand of a farad. So now we're going to measure this. Let's see what it actually is. And that's a nominal measurements. No measurement. What I mean by nominal is that's what it says. It's no nominal name. Its name is one microfarad. Its actual measurement. It's nine hundred and eighty. What does that say? Nine seven nine eight. But what's the what are the units? Um, in F. Okay, so let me write that on the board. It's the actual. It is nine seven nine N F. What's the N stand for? So, one, if we're to convert this to nanofarads, this is 1,000 nanofarads. So the name says it's 1,000 nanofarads, but when we measure it, it's 980 nanofarads. Yes, sir. So, uh, all that is to say is, yeah, it pretty much is one microfarad. Yes, sir. Pretty close. Okay, so now we're going to see how good of a capacitor you can make. Okay. And we're going to do it just like this. Um, it's going to be a tin can capacitor. Uh, and what that means is you're going to have a sheet of metal and another sheet of metal, and they're going to be separated by a... Either arrow or star foam or... 
something that doesn't conduct, right? We call that an insulator. So they're gonna be separated by an insulator. Um, in, the, in the electronics world, they call that a, a dielectric. Okay, so two sheets of metal separated by a dielectric, and then we're gonna take it and roll it up. I can't roll my hands. Okay, there we go, like this. We're gonna roll it up. And uh, coming out of the top, be your positive and coming out the bottom will be your negative. Yes, sir. Okay? And that's, by the way, this is exactly how this is made. The One of these leads, um, I think I brought another one. Here's another one. This one really is. One coming out of the top and one coming out of the bottom. Another tin can capacitor. This one, though, is 100 microfarads. So this one uh, has twice the capacity. About ten times, which I again, a hundred times the capacitance that this one does. Yes, sir. Okay. So here's how you're going to do this. Should we measure that one and see what it actually is? I enjoy playing with the capacitance meter. What is this? Eighty-five degrees Celsius or whatever. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, eighty-five degrees Celsius. It's probably talking about a temperature range in which it's accurate. Okay. So if you get it too hot, it won't work. 85 degrees Celsius is approaching boiling. So as long as you don't boil it, it should work pretty good. And this one is 104, 105 microfarads. So it's pretty close to what it says. So here's how you're going to make yours. Now remember, you're going to have metal, metal, with not metal between them. And you want to roll them up. Now that means when you roll them, you don't want this bottom one to roll back around and hit the top one. So that means you've really got to have not metal, metal, not metal, metal. Yes. That way when you roll it, that bottom layer of not metal hits the top layer. Sense. I think so. Okay. Until so, I start working on it. Yes. So here's the way this is accomplished. Your knot metal will be cling wrap. Yes, sir. Okay. And so you need to um, make yourself a sheet of cling wrap about here. And, um, and I guess at this point, we uh, I'll have the camera turn off in a second. Let me describe what this is, what we're going to do here. Lay out a sheet of Maybe I should draw a four. <clears throat> You're going to lay down a sheet of plastic. Okay? Yes. And then a sheet of metal, slightly smaller, and sticking out the top. Okay? Yes, sir. And then you're going to lay down another sheet of plastic right on top of the first one. And then you're going to lay down a second sheet of metal, but it's going to stick out the bottom. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then you put the tube and you roll it up like this, so that you'll have a sheet of metal sticking out the top and a sheet of metal sticking out the bottom, but those won't be touching each other. Yes, sir. And so then if you just clip onto this, that'll be, that can become your positive plate. If you clip onto this, that can become your negative plate. Yes, sir. Okay. So that's how you're going to do this. And there's really no materials other than cling wrap and saran wrap. Uh, I'll tell you again. Cling wrap and aluminum foil. Yes, sir. Okay. And then um, what we're going to try to do is <coughs> charge it. This is where it gets fun. Uh, there's multiple ways of charging things. We could use a uh, six volt battery. It says 5.7 volts. Let's see how much volts it actually has. So we can try to charge it with this battery. Um, this 6 volts is hardly enough to notice, so um, really it'd be nice if you could get a whole bunch of voltage on it. And really what, the best way to get a whole bunch of voltage is to get a balloon and some hair. Human hair works especially nice. And charge the balloon really nice and touch only the positive plate. Yes. That will charge the positive plate, which will of course 
uncharge the negative plate, and then you do it again. But you gotta do it quick, because remember this thing will discharge to the air on a human day, and it's springtime, so it stays a human day, so you gotta do it quick. So charge, tink, charge, tink, charge. Get it three or four charges on there, and then touch both plates simultaneously, and hopefully they'll go tink, you'll get shot. Okay? Yes, sir. And, uh, and then we can always measure the capacitance after you've discharged it. Yes, sir. Discharging is a fancy way of saying, shock yourself. Yes, sir. Okay. So what will you measure then? My hair, how much is sticking up, or...? <laughs> no, no. Okay, so we can turn the camera off while you build the capacitor. We'll turn it back on when you get it made.